No nonsense gin drinking. All gin, no nonsense. Ah, hello there, gin lovers. Welcome back, genuinely welcome back to my humble, dusty garage in South East London, where I stand on my own talking to a camera uh, to strangers all around the world about gin. I know, I can't believe it either. And today on the show, my Friends, we have a little wild card for you because many of you are aware of the Sipsmiths brand. They are rocking it out over here in the UK and Europe and indeed probably other parts of the world as well. However, and, and, and by, it's worth saying by the way that I have liked pretty much all of their gins so far. However, I think this one could be a challenge for me. But well, let, let me introduce you to it anyway. This, my friends, is Sipsmith Sipspresso coffee flavoured gin. Now, those of you who watch my channel regularly know that I re reviewed a gin, I think last week, and it was called uh, Nika Coffee Gin, which I thought was a coffee flavoured gin. Turns out it wasn't, it was something completely different. So I'm quite glad that I've actually finally got a coffee gin on the show. Despite the fact that I I've actually put my microphone on, yep, I have, that's good. Despite the fact that I don't actually like coffee that much. I, it's okay. It's okay, but I don't really enjoy it that much, mainly because I can't really take the caffeine. It makes me be like this. <laughs> and to be absolutely honest, I can't see how it would work in a gin. So I, it's one of those ones where I'm just gonna throw caution to the wind and just think, you know what? Let's just, you know, trousers down, buttons undone, as relaxed as you like, if that's how you choose to relax, and let's just see what happens. I'm not sure really sure what I'm talking about there. So then, there's a nice sort of fairly large sort of paragraph about this. Let's just crack into it and see. I might cut some of it out if it's boring. I might leave it in if it's not. Who knows? Sipsmith Sipspresso Gin. We set out to distill a clear espresso martini before discovering the intricate and entwining relationship between the coffee bean and a plethora of other botanicals. So, with Nicky Signet's flavour thesaurus in hand, we navigated our way through the intriguing uh, flavour combinations, keeping coffee at the heart of our exploration. Then, working alongside our friends at Packed Coffee, that's obviously the people that supply the coffee, I guess, we stumbled upon their fruit and nut espresso, espresso blend. A modern twist on a traditional Italian espresso sourced from two different producers. Okay, so I'm going to struggle here now. This is some foreign sounding name. And as a typical Englishman, I can't pronounce any name unless it's David, uh, Bob, or Bernard. But I'll have a go. It's Planalto, oh, Planalto, that's not too bad, estate in Brazil, and Nagara Nairus, Nairus Zija in Rwanda. And with the combination of these beans macerated alongside the cinnamon, coriander, vanilla, and banana. Oh, I don't know. I think they've lost me a little bit here. Banana and coffee? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It, may, it might work. Who knows? We've designed a wonderfully aromatic and smooth spiced coffee gin. Enjoy as a G&T or shake up a creamy white Russian, but be sure to take him out for dinner first. So then, so then, so then, gin lovers, as you can see, I know that we, we waffled on for a bit there, but I thought it was worth mentioning, you know, sort of reading all that out. So, I honestly couldn't tell you, I could not even second get, guess this even if I wanted to. I've no idea what it's going to be like, but I say we crack open the top and bloody well find out. So then, peel the old thing back. Oh, I always found that very therapeutic. And then it does have a cork test, but we don't do the cork test card anymore. We just go straight in for it. Is it a squeak? No squeak. We have a pull. Not bad. Not too bad. It's kind of getting boring now. It's just a bit of fun, what it used to be. So then, so then, here we go. A coffee and banana and all types of stuff. What was the rest of the stuff in there? Um, coriander, vanilla, yeah, cinnamon, yeah. Well, cinnamon, okay, but well, let's have a sniff of it anyway. Here we go. Mmm. Yeah. Do you know what? I, as much as I say I don't really enjoy coffee that much, I do like the smell of it. I find it quite sort of, mmm, just sort of, it's quite comforting, quite warmly and quite sort of, warmly? I'm not sure that's a word. Warming and homely, that's what I was looking for. And you kind of get that, that essence, a very, it's a very, very soft coffee smell. How am I getting anything else? Mm, not really. The tiny whiff of the sort of the ginny type juniperiness in there, but mostly a great big whack, but very 
delicate, soft. It's almost like it'd be made of like, you know, you get that faux fur when it's brand new, it's all really nice and oh, like one of those blankets you get from your auntie at Christmas. A bit like that, but sort of smothered in coffee. However, what's it get to? Let's find out the ABV first. I think it's 37.5. Now that's interesting. So it's come way down the ABV, teetering on the crevasse of being a gin liqueur, but not quite. So let's, they did say about a gin and tonic, didn't they? So let's make it a gin and tonic. About that much, don't want to drown it because it's not very strong. So here we go, my friends. Thank you very much to all my patrons and members who make this possible by paying for the gin. And I say to everybody, cheers. Mm. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Now this is a tricky one, okay? As I say, I'm not the biggest fan of coffee. So you have to kind of put aside my feelings here because I know I'm in the absolutely tiny minority because the majority of the world enjoys coffee and indeed are hooked on it. So I try and sort of separate my feelings. I'll just try and tell you what it tastes like. To me, I used to live with uh, uh, my friend Ben uh, when we were flat sharing together and um, he used to have that posh coffee that goes in the espresso thing and you push the lid down and all that and that I did try that and that tasted kind of just a lot lot better and kind of more natural and raw I'm getting that kind of taste and indeed the aroma it's kind of awakened it as I always say when it mixes with the tonic it's kind of awakened it a bit and I'm getting that kind of um what do you call it fresh coffee I suppose rather than instant the, the kind of the good stuff that sort of essence as you go, as, as it goes in. So let me just try again here. <laughs> but it is more, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's more, it's all about the aftertaste. The initial taste as it goes in, it's kind of like your original Sipsmiths, which is what you would imagine, because I think that's basically what it is. And it's only, at, very much like with the chocolate uh, gins, or the uh, co cocoa or cacao, whatever you want to call it, that taste, that cocoa in us, but in this case, the uh, coffiness, is all about as soon as you inhale the oxen after it. It's a huge waft of that cafetiere. That's it, cafetiere. Sorry, I was thinking of the wrong word. What did they say? Espresso? No, it's something like that. I don't know. I don't know anything about coffee. The cafetiere thing that you push down like that. You know what I'm talking about. You get a big waft of that. And to be honest, what did it say about banana and, and all those other weird stuff? Hang on a second. Not that bananas are that weird. If, if anyone is a big particularly fan of bananas, I do apologise, but well, I suppose they are quite weird. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to double down on it. Bananas are weird and you're weird if you like them too. But back to the gin. I'm not... Hmm. Am I getting any banana? Am I getting banana? Banana, banana. Come in, banana! No, I don't think I am. Maybe, maybe a tiny little, just a teeny tiny sparkle of it but to be honest if no one had told me about it I would never have, have, have picked it out of those flavors it's basically it's very simple it is a coffee flavored Sipsmith you'll get a little blast of the Sipsmith uh, flavor which is very very good and then a lovely kind of if you like coffee a kind of waft it's definitely a waft not a waft or a whiff which we determined earlier in this in the series uh, are varying degrees of smallness of a waft a great big heavy but gentle waft of coffee, Woof, just like that. However, maybe the old banana, that which eluded me in the gin and tonic, maybe it will make itself known and present in the old neat gin. Whoa, I always spilt a banana and coffee all over myself. So here we go, neat. Now that tastes like shit. However, that's a slightly biased account from a, 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 a person who doesn't like coffee, but to me, that's just become a bit more harsh and it's not breathing. The flavors aren't let loose as they were in the tonic. So as ever, if you're gonna enjoy this one, and particularly if you are a coffee lover, which I guess you are if you're probably buying this, it's, you're gonna get, get, you're definitely gonna get the more coffiness out of the gin and tonic. However, my friends, however, a, a very interesting gin there, however, is it an interesting price? Well, it's kind of interesting in as much as it's it's pretty good. It's 29 English pounds, which amounts to about 39 American dollars or 33 euros. And to be honest, Sipsmiths are always not bad. You know, I, what, it's a mainstream gym now. It is certainly over here. So I wouldn't, I would expect, to, I wouldn't be surprised to, uh, if it was a non-mainstream gym, I wouldn't be surprised to be paying about 35 pounds. But this is a mainstream gym. It's just under my 30 pound bracket. And to be honest, I am happy with that, even though I'm not, 
you know, blown away by the gin. I know a lot of people will be, so I think you'll be happy with it as well. So then guys, so then. A very intro, like we said, it's kind of what I expected this video to be. A bit of a bit of an adventure. And as I say, it's one of those ones where I can't really say it's awful because it's extremely subjective and reliant upon whether you like coffee. Personally, I don't like coffee that much, so I appreciate it for what it is, but it's not gonna be my favorite go-to drink. However, however, if you do like coffee, I must say this, to, for a, um, you know, sometimes they say, like their, their one they bought out, which was the uh, strawberry and, uh, strawberry and cream? Strawberry and something. They bought a, a strawberry smash one out. That didn't taste much like strawberries. However, one thing you can say for this, it, they have done an expert job of making it taste like coffee, and which I assume is good coffee as well. So I would say to you, although it's not my favorite, if you're a coffee lover, I guarantee you, you are gonna absolutely love it because they've done an expert job of creating it. And indeed, if you think I've done an expert job of, of making this video, then please show your appreciation by subscribing to my channel, press the like button for the video, and indeed the little uh, bell icon so you get notified when my new videos come out. And if you wanna support the show, head over to the old Patreon page, or indeed press the little button below this video, which means you can join one of my YouTube members. But until next time, guys, you all know the drill. Well, I'm assuming you do by now anyway. It's take care, stay safe, Thank you to my wonderful patrons and my equally as wonderful members, uh, YouTube members. That was smooth, wasn't it? And keep uh, drinking the gin. That was a bit aggressive, wasn't it? <laughs>